Hello guys, this is Oxman, going to bring you another Armour 2 editing and scripting video. This is basic stuff. I am going to show you how to make a vehicle move when the player does something, or Bluefoot does something. And then I'll also make sure that the vehicle moves when the player is inside. So first off, we'll start off with um, making a truck or a car, say. Uh, first, we'll make our own guy who's gonna be, who's gonna be a rocker. There we go. Um, we have a car, and this car is going to be a car blue, and it's gonna be called car one, and it's gonna be called player. So it's obviously a player. So um, here we go. We have first we want him to hold here, and say when uh, the player arrives around here in this area. 50 that nah, that sounds good we we'll, we want the uh, car to move here so we'll make another whole waypoint here this is just because we're going to do another thing after um it initial movement we want him to hold here and wait for the player to get in so we need two triggers and here we go player in car one make that type as a switch and we can even make the car one say, Hey, yo, in the hood. Great. So, um, we'll make a delay on it for two seconds. And um, there we go. So, we want the first trigger to make sure that the, uh, make so it's switch. We want the tr first trigger to, um, when the rocker here moves, towards this building and this trigger that car is going to start moving so we press F5 press that whole waypoint and drag it up to that trigger BAM and now we have made on act what it's going to do which going to unleash that whole waypoint and we need something to trigger it, a condition and that condition is made by pressing F2 we'll synchronize it not synchronize this is group with but I call it synchronize anyway but still uh, drag it to that trigger and then you can see a small light blue line. So that means if that guy is in this trigger, that gets activated. Nothing else, nothing else will trigger this. And player, you can also make sure it's a S1 and you name the unit S1. But now we just have the player, so we only need that. And here's the second hold, and we need to synchronize that with that trigger. So when the player it's in car one. It's gonna switch, bam, and that's gonna stop um, rolling away then. Because we'll add another waypoint and add there full, and uh, we'll make this a safe one. So there we go. Everything is set. We have this trigger synchronized with the, the uh, hold waypoint behind us, and here. Now we'll make sure player side shot. Where the hell is Carlos with that car? And there we go. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Make it morning. Say uh, 4.40. And there we go. Stop that up. And um, first of all, we could, we're could we going to speed up the t uh, uh, time and make sure that the car isn't moving yet. Until we move into that trigger. So we're going to speed up when we get into the game. Of course, this takes a lot of time because it's the first time I'm rolling this. So here we go. Some low FPS. No, wait. 22. 28. Here. The uh, trigger was activated. Where the hell is Carlos with that car? Standing here by this cottage here. This is my house. Must be pimping. And then we move out. Carlos is here. Oi, where the hell have you been? So you get into the car. Hey. Hey yo, in the hood, and now we're moving out again. And here we go. We well, got a pickup, a taxi. So um, that's exactly how you do it. Uh, everything is connected with triggers and switch and hold waypoints. That's the three main things you need in a trigger. You need a condition for it. You need the on act isn't required. You just need a switch, and you then you need to synchronize it with a waypoint you want to release. So think of it as whenever you switch with a trigger on a waypoint is going to be uh, overlooked it will remove this whole waypoint it's gonna um, just ignore it and then go to the next one so basically 
um, that's what it does. And then um, all you need is just a trigger, a hold waypoint, and a condition, and that's it. And um, of course, you have to make sure that there's a waypoint behind the hold waypoint. Now we had two hold waypoints in the, uh, at the same time, or after each other, but that doesn't matter anything. Uh, it doesn't change anything. It's still going to go there. The hold is as a move. It's going to hold at this position, so it doesn't really matter if it's a move waypoint or a hold waypoint. It's still going to move to that location. So all in all, that as a, we have achieved our goal with um, getting a taxi going and uh, making a vehicle um, stay here until ordered with either trigger. You can put, um, you know, a live player, and if it's dead, then it starts moving. But that wouldn't make any sense. And condition this means the hold trigger. So the vehicle one. If you change this to something else, it will not use the um, being inside detected or anything of this. It's just going to use what you put in here. So that's all there is to it. You can even add music. Here we have some nice music and love the k on riff. It's a beautiful thing. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. It's not much to it. We can make this a tank if you wanted to. We can make it a mountain bike. We can make it anything any vehicle uh, of course helicopters need more thinking you have to put them on landing and stuff but that has been already I've already covered that in insertion and extraction missions and um, I already have videos of that but right now I just wanted to make sure that everyone understands how to make things hold and then go away when triggered so we can even make it a bus or a motorcycle motorcycle is the coolest thing of course so um We'll uh, do this again, and um, it will work. And also add some music to it. So here, where the hell is Carlos with that car? And um, he should come very soon. Make the sound. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. There he is. Hello, Carlos. And he's gonna wait here. He's gonna get in the back. Two seconds. Bam. Hey yo, in the hood. And we're moving out again. Now I don't have sound on. Uh, now I have very low sounds. So wait a second. They can hear a bit vaguely, but I'm not having that much sound on right now. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, hope you learned how to. If you don't understand yet, do comment and I'll upload another video uh, continuing on this thing here. Um, please like it and subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have editing questions I will gladly help you however I'm not a super mega pro at scripting and editing but I do know the basics so if you need anything just comment below and I'll see what I can do that's all for me